Hey guys, how are you doing today? I hope you're all having a great day. I wanted to talk to you guys today about something, and this just has to do with kind of like a business philosophy. As far as my goals for a business for the future, and the things that I've learned from the past and now going forward. I saw an interesting video today by Rake and Profit, and I'll put it down in the description below. Basically, the video asked, should you have all your eggs in one basket? And I thought, okay, you know, maybe I'll make a video about it because I wanted to share some of my thoughts because a lot of people, they often get a little bit confused, in my opinion, about exactly what that saying means. I mean, everyone knows the quote. If you drop the, if you drop the basket, you know, all your eggs are going to get destroyed and there you go, you're wiped out. Let's just say that you run a bookshop or maybe you run a virtual bookshop. That's the type of business where you kind of are putting all your eggs in one basket. I mean, this is the case for pretty much anything. Uh, what if you run a comic book store? Or what if you run a toy store? I mean, you name it. There are so many different stores that you can run where it pretty much, generally speaking, it's just one genre of things. It's one item type. It's a, a specialized store. You are basically putting all your eggs in one basket, but the key here is it's got to be a damn good idea. So it's got to be something that's tried and tested and has a very high likelihood of succeeding. So in this case, I'm putting the vast majority of my eggs into this basket, which is Amazon, and specifically FBA. Now in this case, people are always so afraid, they're like, I gotta diversify, I gotta diversify, and I always talk about diversification, and I do that for a reason. It's important to be extremely knowledgeable about a whole bunch of different things, so that that way if one thing doesn't work out, you can always go to the next. Now in my business experience, uh, whether it be on eBay or Amazon, I've always said, okay, you know what, I'm going to learn as much as I can about as much as I can so that I can always develop a different income stream through different methods, through different item types. You know, there's so many ways that you can make money online by either buying or selling, maybe having a website, a blog, I mean, you name it. There are so many ways that this, in this age, that we can make money doing stuff from home easily. It's incredible. So while we're on the discussion topic of diversification, I would just say, don't stop learning. Don't stop studying. Don't stop educating yourself on the broad range of different things that you can do to make money. In this case, on eBay, there are so many different niche stores that you can run. I mean, there's a guy on eBay. All he does is sells ties. I looked him up before, and uh, he has like 20,000 ties listed. That's all he sells. It's incredible. There are people who only sell paper on eBay. That's pretty cool, too. Uh, I really think that's interesting. There are people on Amazon, and all they sell is books. Certainly, you know, uh, very profitable, especially through FBA, especially when you have access to such a large global marketplace. It's incredible. Absolutely incredible. Amazon FBA, like I say, and will continue to say, is the modern-day gold rush. Now, again, that being said, uh, could it be flooded with people? Uh, to some extent. Um, I'm going to make a video about this in the future because there's been some interest in this. I would like to discuss it in great detail because it's just a really interesting topic to discuss, and there are a ton of myths about it. There's a lot of people who, um, who don't really understand how it works. It's a very complicated thing. It, it seems very simple on the outside, but Amazon FBA and the selling practices, it can get extremely intricate. It goes so much more beyond simply uh, an item's sales rank uh, versus prices and price history. So there's a lot to talk about with that, but I'll try to put that into another video. This video, I want to talk about some more issues to do with whether you should keep all the eggs in one basket. Now, right now, yeah, I have an awful lot of the eggs in one basket here with Amazon FBA. I mean, I'm sending in thousands of items a month. Things are going great. Everything's awesome, okay? But if you look at the way that things are being done, the way that I'm selling them, these are items that I'm paying very little for. And absolute worst case scenario, I'm going to get my money back. And there's not a single doubt in my mind that I'm going to get my money back on these items because not only are they all, almost all generally in high demand, but they're about something that's interesting. They're not junk. It's not trending. It's not, uh, it's not, it's not a Justin Bieber album, okay? These are high-quality, desirable, limited, non-fiction items, uh, interesting things that people all around the world are very interested in. Some of them are limited, but all of them are interesting. They're unique. They're special. They are specialized. Um, I'm not talking about selling plastic toys made in China here. I'm talking about uh, selling high-quality, desirable items that millions of people want. So in that case, yes, I think it's totally okay 
to put all your eggs in one basket, just as long as you're ready to accept the fact that it's possible, just maybe, that you'll have to adapt, you'll have to evolve, but don't we all accept that anyway? I mean, don't we all accept that um, times change and you got to change with them or else you'll become obsolete? So ultimately with this video, I would say put all your eggs in the basket that's working for you best and uh, just be ready to move them out when the time comes and always be thinking, how can I make more money? How can I stay ahead of the game? How can I stay ahead of my competition? Are there ways that I can become better at what I do? And of course, this is very important. So those are things that you should consider. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it useful. You don't have to be afraid to put all your eggs in one basket as long as you got a really good backup plan and as long as you're ready for it. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. If you like the video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you have any questions or comments, that would be awesome. Make sure you check me out on Facebook at Picking Profits. We've got a really nice contest coming up probably the next video, so please be sure to check that one out. And as always, thanks, you guys. Uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I'll talk to you later.